In the latest chapter of My Hero Academia, we saw the League of Villains confront Redestro and the leader of the Liberation Army display his special abilities power. But what exactly is this special ability? What's up, it's Truth Hero, and welcome back to another My Hero Academia Theory video, where we'll be discussing Redestro's quirk. And yes, I'm calling it a quirk from now on. We'll be taking a look at all your best Liberation Army leader theories, take a deep dive into Redestro's origin, as well as look at the possibility that Redestro could have multiple, and even, a technologically enhanced quirk. Let's jump in. First, let's go over what we already know about Redestro. When using his quirk, he can increase the size of his body and his limbs. This is seen when Redestro watched a thousand hours of hentai, and basically became Luffy third gear. As well as when his body was larger, after falling from the tower. This black mark that appears on his face spreads throughout his body when he uses his quirk. It looks like this could be energy, almost like how One For All goes through Deku, as it's very powerful and able to destroy one of Twice's clones with a single poke. Given these two parameters, let's talk quirks. Number 1. Multiple Quirks One possible way for Redestro to become Choji is having multiple quirks like All For One. Similar to All For One and Kendo from Class 1B, Redestro could have a strength enhancing quirk that would be able to enlarge his limbs. To survive the fall from the tower, Redestro could manipulate his body flesh like Seiji Shishikura from Shiketsu, almost like a Mr. Fantastic. How exactly this strength and body control works really depends on what this black material is. Redestro is also unaffected by the clone Shigaraki's touch, and this leads me to believe he has some type of energy quirk that either allows him to dissipate power or shield his body. And, this could be another effect of the black substance he moves throughout his body. If it's blood, Redestro could engorge his body and control the flow of it like Vlad King. But, something tells me, due to the size and strength of his quirk, this black material would have to be energy. Regardless, having the ability to enhance one's strength, control their own flesh, and release energy from their body would be absolutely lethal. And why wouldn't Redestro possess multiple quirks? After all, he is the final boss for Shigaraki, and if Shigaraki has to prove his worth to Gigantomachia, whose master all for one is the multiple quirk OG, then it makes sense for Redestro, the leader of this quirk liberating revolution, to possess an array of abilities. Number 2. Intramolecular Manipulation Redestro may very well have a blood flow or an energy flow quirk and strength enhancing abilities, but this doesn't explain why he needs a big arm, or rather, why this big arm is just for show. As we see in Chapter 232, Redestro focuses this black energy from his face all the way to around his enlarged limb. But in another panel, he does the same exact thing only to his fingertip, which he promptly uses to poke a Twice clone out of existence. So if it's not strength, then it must be energy in his finger, but how would this energy make his whole arm enlarge? Similar to Marvel's Ant-Man, Redestro could seemingly increase and decrease the size of his body at will, by manipulating the molecules and the forces holding them together. This, combined with the black energy, could move power around his limbs, as well as hold the molecules together in their expanded form. Number 3. Redestro uses Nanotechnology Now, it's possible to chalk this quirk up to a simple emitter type like Dark Shadows, and say that Redestro can manipulate it to create black energy and size around his limbs and body. But, I'm not satisfied with this explanation. It's too simple for me. No offense, Tokoyami. Up until now, we've considered all the physical evidence and the possibility of multiple quirks. But what if instead of strength enhancing and flesh manipulation and energy to manipulate molecules, Redestro has achieved all of these things with technology? And yeah, this is the theory that I'm backing. The first piece of evidence for nanotechnology is just that, technology. Redestro is the CEO of Detnarak Corporation, which among other lifestyle products, specializes in devices to help people control, use, and live normal lives with their quirks. These devices have certainly had their fair share of field testing, and with the help from Skeptic, who is the CEO of Feelgood Incorporated, a tech company, Redestro should be able to use nanotechnology to alter his body and support his quirks. Or multiple quirks. As for this black energy or material, it would be really easy for Redestro to graft it onto his skin using nanoparts, much like how Iron Man puts on his suits. 
Beyond this, there's the notion that Redestro might actually need technology to be able to use his quirk. Or, at the very least, the version and image of it he's trying to present the world. As we know, the Liberation Army's sole objective is to fulfill the goal of their creator Destro, and all liberation will be credited to him. They are to embody his ideals and image, and as his son, no one takes this more seriously than Redestro. He even killed his assistant for joking about it. The Liberation Army is based on the Mishima incident, where in 1970, Yukio Mishima and a band of loyal followers took over a military compound in Tokyo and tried to persuade the soldiers to join their cause against the government and restore true power to the Emperor. Hmm... A group of revolutionaries against government and regulation, you say? Oh, but don't worry, it gets much deeper than this. Mishima was an extraordinary poet and author, and among his works is a book titled Confessions of a Mask. In the story, a young boy named Kochan, who is based on the author, doesn't fit into right-wing imperialist Japanese society due to being gay. He's raised separately, isolated from others, and deemed an outcast, which eventually leads him to be obsessed with violence and death. Similarly, in My Hero Academia, Destro was an outcast in society because of his quirk, and eventually, after his mother was murdered, walked the same path of violence and revolution. But notice the illustration on the cover of this book. Two characters, worlds apart, yet bound by these same struggles of being an outcast and concealing themselves with masks just to fit in. Quirks don't just pass on, they are a mix of your mother and father. And Redestro could have the same black mask appearance as Destro, but given how it only appears when using his quirk, Redestro could be augmenting this image of his father with nanotechnology. And if anyone's familiar with Destro from G.I. Joe, this is pretty much his family story as well. Also, given the evidence that Redestro has multiple quirks, he could be using nanotechnology to adapt his body into handling all the power and drawbacks from them. If Redestro has nanotechnology paired with even one quirk, that's truly a devastating combination. Also, if he's so good with technology, he might not even need a quirk. But let me know what you guys think. Which quirk theory do you guys like the most? And what quirk, or special ability, do you think Redestro has? Comment below. And if you guys like these My Hero Academia theories, consider enrolling at UA today by clicking the subscribe button down below. And until next time, plus ultra. Ready?